become the big Celestine Donko the world loves so much. So what is wrong with giving a little back to the church and not really expecting anything in return? Okay, so you 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 guys have consistently used the church, the church, but I think there are fractions. Um, there is my local church where I attend, where by my personal decision, I feel I owe my service to that church. And yep. therefore, I, it is not even morally okay for me to talk about money when it comes to my local church. Even if I put aside whatever investment they have done in my life, whatever uh, they have opportunities they've given me, I think it's a personal decision an artist must take that. Where you serve as a local church is your seat. That is my perception. Uh -huh. And so that is a different, a different you know, level altogether. But when, when we are talking of the church as regards to the national or the global church in reception to gospel artists, that is also a different ballgame together. Because uh, I, I, I don't know why it's hard for people to confidently say that the church is our market thing. You see, I think that uh, the gospel music industry is like a coin. It has two sides. It is 100% ministry on one side of the coin and 100% business on one side of the coin. Anybody who thinks that you can operate on one side, which is ministry, without the other business side, is not in for a serious place in the industry. It's not in for a serious place in the industry. And anyone who thinks you can be on the business side of the coin without considering the ministry side also is not complete. So they are like two channels. They are so parallel. They run together for the success of the gospel industry. It cannot work on one side of the coin. So and that is 